WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, folks. Larry Pesavento for TFNN Mid Morning Update. We've got a bifurcated market, as Basil Chapman would say. We've got some indexes down, some indexes up. The NASDAQ is down a little. Dow Jones up a couple, I think about 150 points, something like that. And we I was up a lot more at one time. And then the S&P is uh, up, and so are the uh, is the Russell. Uh, Treasury bonds are selling off because they we've been told by everybody on Bloomberg and FNN, TFNN, not TFNN, let's try to get CNBC, that the uh, banking crisis is officially over. Well, that's a good deal. Boy, I was kind of worried about that, but it looks like it's going to be okay. We've got silver and gold down sharply. I also see there's a you know no longer a flight to quality of the air, and everybody wants to own securities. So that may be true, but I've always been told by my old grandpa when he was out there teaching me how to cut wood out there in the old forest there in Terre Haute, Indiana, and he would tell you, look, this ax is sharp, but if it gets dull, it's really hard to cut the tree down. And I said, why is that? He says, it's just been hit too many times. And that's what they're doing, folks. They're telling us that this banking crisis is over. And, folks, let me tell you, I don't think that it is. If you just look at the bank stocks, yeah, they're soaring today up 2 and 3 and 4% after being down. Hello, operator. How much? Well, pay attention to the charts, folks. That's all you really have to do, in my opinion, and uh, listen to what they say with bated breath because, by golly, you know, sometimes they tell us only half truths. And sometimes they don't even tell us any truths at all. So let the charts lead you the way. If the prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. That's all you really need to know and know how much you're going to have to risk to put the trade on. That's my approach to these things. Uh, I, I miss a lot of stuff in the news, which is good. But I did post something here in the Tiger Den from our good friend Norm Winsky. Uh, it's a picture of a cosmos. Uh, this thing's a billion light years across, folks. <laughs> this is one big puppy. This is a part of the universe that's out there that you know many of us are not even aware of. If you ever come to Tucson, you got to go out to uh, Mount Hopkins and see the observatory there because it's one of the best in the world, and you can see the night sky and see all this. If you think there's never been a higher power out there, folks, uh, got to take a look at this and maybe have second thoughts. So stay tuned for Larry Pesavento Fibonacci 24-7, and I'll be on on the next show here to help everybody out with maybe some ideas of uh, what we're looking at. So we'll be right back. <music> 